Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Stock Car Spectacle. I'm Ian Jordson. I'm Mike Gamble. And guys, we got our Pocono preview. We're going to the Tricky Triangle this weekend. Trucks, Xfinity, and Cup, they're all racing this weekend. So we're going to start off with the Truck Series race on Saturday afternoon. We got the CRC Brackling 150, 150-mile race. Stages 1 and 2 are 15 laps each, and the final is 30 for a total of 60 laps. Last year's winner was John Hunter Nemechek. We'll see if he can maybe get that monkey off his back and get a win. Most team wins is KBM with six, and most manufacturer wins is Toyota with six wins. Uh, got a lot of notables in this one. No Cup Series drivers, because this is the regular season finale. Kaz Grollo is going to be the 2 for Young Motorsports. Norm Benning, Storm and Norman, it's going to be back in the six. Uh, Austin Hill, he'll be in the seven for Spire Motorsports. Jesse Little, he'll be in the 20 for Young Motorsports. Corey Himes back in the 51 for KBM. And Todd Bodine is making his final run in that 62 Halmar freezing machine. So, Mike, we got a lot of guys entering into this one. Who you got to take the checker flag? Well, I think it's going to be the guy that won the last time we came here in the trucks. I think it's going to be John Hunter. I think he's run into a really bad stretch of luck here. Uh, I think he could really use a win to kind of get the monkey off his back here. Um, so I'm picking JHN for victory lane on Friday night. Let's hope he doesn't Nima choke it away, my friend. Oh, <laughs> uh, I'm going to sit in the same camp. I'm going to go with that 51 of Corey Heim. Seems like every time he's entered into one of these races in that 51, this guy is out there competing for the win. So I think he's going to get it done at the tricky triangle and just make boss man happy. Good pick. I really like this kid so far. He's been really impressive. Yeah, me too. If this guy doesn't get a full-time ride at the end of the year with KBM, they're just stupid because this guy is going to be lifting that team up. They really need some help. I mean, Chandler Smith's great, but this guy can bring them back to the championship level status. Absolutely. You know, we're not that far away from, uh, we'll just say a very interesting grading scale to be used on his team by Kyle Busch. Mm -hmm. Um, so we know he hasn't been happy with the way that that trucks uh, truck teams run in the past. So you got a guy that's really come down there, um, giving you ever some run for your money every once in a while too. Let's uh, let's keep this kid going. Yeah, absolutely. So let's get into the Xfinity race. We got the Explore the Pocono Mountains 225, 225 mile race. Stages one and two are 20 laps each, and the final is 50 for a total of 90 laps. Last year's winner was Austin Cindric. He's cup racing now, so don't, don't have to worry about him. Most team wins is Stuart Haas Racing. They got two. They actually tied with Penske, but they're not a current team in the Xfinity Series right now. Um, the most manufacturer wins here is Ford with four wins. Uh, and a lot of notables in this one as well. Cole Custer, he's in the 07 for SS Greenlight Racing. Santino Ferrucci's back NASCAR racing in the 26 Sam Hunt racing machine. And then Ricky Stenhouse Jr. He'll be in the big machine racing 48. Man, it's been a while since we've seen him run the Xfinity race. Yeah, pretty cool to see. And uh, I like those big machine cars too. They're usually got a little more giddy up than you think too. So he might be a little more competitive than people are going to realize. Yeah, definitely. So my pick, I got to go with the 07 of Cole Custer. Every time this guy gets behind the wheel of the 07, he is so goddamn competitive. I think this is his bread and butter right here is the Xfinity Series. He knows how to run it. He always looks so dominant running these races. So give me old General Custer. Yeah, I really can't argue with that pick. That's a really, really good pick for this track. Um. I'm going to go into the Joe Gibbs camp and I'm going to pick that 54 Ty Gibbs. Um, it's just another one of those things feels like we're about due for a Ty Gibbs win. I got no real expert analysis on it other than I just, I got a feeling that one of them is coming here pretty soon, whether you love it or you hate it. I mean, the kid's just good, man. So every week he's got a chance. Yes, he does. All right, so now let's get into the big one on Sunday. We got the M&M's Fan Appreciation 400. This is how M&M's is going out with a bang. They're doing a whole sponsored race. So 
pretty cool to see that. So we got a 160 lap race, 400 miles of going at Pocono at the tricky triangle. Mikey G, who you got to win at the tricky triangle? I'm going to pick the guy that thought he was destined for victory lane this past Sunday. Another track that he's run well at in his career. I'm going to go with the 19 of Martin Truex Jr. Um, you know, dominated stages one and stage two last week. Um, just once that car got back into uh, dirty air, um, that last pit stop only put two tires on. I don't know if that changed the balance of the car, but just went away on him. Martin must have thought he had it in the bag the way the uh, first couple stages went of that race. So, you know, he's going to be hungry on Sunday. Um, you know, Pocono is another one of those tracks he's been fast at before in his career. So uh, I'm thinking the 19 gets into victory lane this Sunday and really puts a log jam on the last couple spots for, uh, for the playoffs. Yeah, we kind of got the same idea, except I'm going with that number 12 of Ryan Blaney. He's been hungry for a win all season, can shake up some shit in the playoffs right now. I think that would be great for number 12. Definitely be a good momentum boost because we know when he gets one, he starts collecting more checkered flags. So, Well, I, I hope I'm wrong and you're right. Yeah, I, I honestly hope that too. So <laughs> I, I hope to see number 12 in victory lane secures himself in the playoffs and uh, yeah, gets a second dub at the tricky triangle. So, Mike, you got anything else to add before we end the show here, bud? I'm really intrigued to see how this race is going to go with this new car. Um, you know, we've kind of seen a resurrection of Pocono the last couple races here, if you will. The uh, the back-to-back -back idea a couple of seasons ago, um, you know, you really kind of start, start to see this place turn into a fuel strategy, almost like a pseudo road course race when it comes to the strategy of it. Um, I could see that. Um, I could see as big of this track as I could see a race in like a, like a super speedway as well. So um, I'm really excited to see which kind of Avenue um, that, you know, this next gen cars legacy at Pocono goes towards. Um, I think it's going to be a really fun race. Like you said, though, Ian, I think you've got two of the guys that really need to get victories to secure their playoff spots. Both are going to have a legit chance to win here on Sunday. I think that sets up for some really fun storylines as well. Yeah, most definitely. So should be an exciting weekend of racing guys. Thanks for tuning into the stock car spectacle. If you haven't yet, make sure to like our video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can follow us on Twitter, Instagram for all updates. We're also on Spotify as well. If you're an audio listener, now wrap it up for us. I'm Ian Jordan. I'm Mike Gamble. And we'll see you guys next time. Have a great weekend.